Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Binky here today trying Bite Beauty's a new Christmas release. Treat yourself. Yeah, so what is this about? So I love Bite Beauty. If you watch my channel, you know I love Bite Beauty. It is probably one of my favorite brands uh, for lipsticks. I adore it. What's not to adore? They tend to use cleaner products, a little bit more mindful about that. And the thing is they are, no, I'm a little bit confused for, for a few reasons with this. So first off, this is supposedly the holiday release, which is just interesting. I'm sure they have more stuff coming out, but right now this is what we have. And there are four mini lipsticks in this. And what it is, is it is inspired, they're supercharged colors, inspired by the holidays inspired totally jumped out of my hands do you see that anyway so they're inspired by the holidays maybe some eggnog that's why I dropped that haven't been drinking but you know still early so yes so a lot of cocoa colors things like that I don't quite know what they're going for here but hey there you go so supposedly they are slowly going, what, from 2020, everything's supposed to be vegan. So you'll notice there's a lot of sales. This will be outdated soon, but these will be outdated soon because this is limited edition. $21 for these uh, four little bad boys. And by Beauty's going vegan. So they've been getting rid of a lot of their lipstick line, I think, to try the new formula. I don't know if this is the new formula or not. I've heard somewhere it was. But I've been trying to do research and I haven't found that since. So I don't know what this is and is their way of trying the new formula. I'm going to do a little bit of research. If I find out, I'll put it to the side. I will say that I did wear one of these and indeed, the, it does seem different. The formula does seem a little bit different on this. Um, and I don't know what it is. I'm actually wearing one of them now. I don't even know which color this is. We'll find out when I swatch it beautiful color but i do feel if this and it may not just may be this collection but the wear time is not necessarily as long as it used to be and it's a lot more moisturizing and i do find that the scent the lemonade scent isn't quite as strong as it used to be which is which is interesting actually so i don't know if this is the new formula again i'll put it to the side but um yeah, it just seems a little bit different, or it just could be the holiday release, but uh, this is what they look like, and they have the corresponding, you know, color of the packaging with the lipstick. Here you go. Not a dead-on match, but pretty darn close. So that's about what you're getting, you know, with it. It's a little bit over $5 for this little bit, but I'm okay with it. You cannot get these in full lipsticks yet. These are just little treats, like little bonbons, but... Um, they do go on really full blown color on your lips. They just don't necessarily stay that way. I find that they do wear off really quickly. Um, and the scent is just not what it used to be. I don't know. It's there. It is definitely there. It's just not as strong maybe. And that may be a good thing because some people that may not like the scent and think it's way too strong. I actually like strong scents, but I just feel like it's a little bit weaker. Um, but definitely more moisturizing. These, these guys are really moisturizing. So if you have dry lips, I think these will work really well for you. And with all that said, let's get with the swatching. Okay, the first one is Good Jujube, I think it is. Interesting. Um, and this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and I want to be gentle with these because I don't want it to break. But this is kind of a nice, uh, cool toned like mauve tone, a very light mauve, but a mauve, which I love these. Oops. Okay, so it's definitely not a mauve. <laughs> it looked like it a little bit more with the lighting on my arm, but going onto the lips, it's, um, it's more of like a salmon-y pink. Yeah, it looks like a salmon pink. I think it's really pretty for this time of year. Um, actually, I think it could be wearable all year round. It's it's very, um, it's just a very kind of wearable color for everyone. It looks a little bit different on the lips than it does in the bullet, but it's a really nice color. I think it would complement a lot of tones. I am finding most of these do lean a little bit towards the warm side. 
And if you're a cool tone girl like me, you might go, mm -hmm. but they're still really wearable. So don't let that deter you if you love them. Now the next one is Cherry Truffle, which is the brightest color of the collection. Really nice red toned color, reddish tone. But you can see it's almost, um, it's it has again that warm undertone to it. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. This is a really pretty color, but again, it does, um, it's supposed to be Cherry's Jubilee. It is definitely a red, but what I will say is that um, it does have a little bit of a brown base to it. Um, hopefully that's reading, but it does have a little bit of, you know, I think this is more, it definitely has a brown base which I like. I actually do like it. I think it's perfect for this time of year. It's not going to be a screaming fire engine red or cherry red, which is why I'm a little bit confused because it's like, oh, it's a cherry. And when I think cherry red, I don't necessarily think of this color, but I think it's cherry truffle. So if it's truffle, let me just double check. Oh, well, it is truffle, not Jubilee. It is truffle. So yes, it would be darker because it has a little hint of chocolate to it. So then this totally makes sense. And it is definitely a mix of a brown and a red. So again, it is a little bit more of that warm base, which some people may not be looking for. But um, I actually like it. I think it's quite wearable, especially through the winter in this time of year. I think it's just a really beautiful color. And even though it does lend towards the warm side, I think it is kind of a warm neutral. So I think it will suit a lot of different people. Okay, on to the next one. As you can see, it didn't really, the cherry one stained my lips a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy at all. It just a little bit of staining here and there, but nothing insane. Um, especially with the pigment. You can see how pigmented the last one was, so that's pretty impressive. This one is Cocoa Bites, so you know it's gonna have a little bit of a brown tone to it as well. And indeed it does. And this one I think is, is, is really nice. Again, a warmer tone. Um, this is the one that I was wearing actually from the beginning and I have worn this and it's just beautiful. Even though it's a lighter color, it's extremely pigmented, really nice, beautiful color. Um, it has, you know, it's definitely more of a, an orangey color mixed with brown. It seems to be kind of the theme as everything has a little bit of brown in it, but I think it's very wearable. I love this. It's almost like, um, it, it, it almost could fall under nude actually. I know it's not really nude but it kind of is in that genre it's not too jarring you could wear it with a bright look you know if you're going for a very natural look it's just very wearable i think out of all of them this one's probably the most wearable okay so the last one is ruby bonbon going back to that bright color which i think is fair this time of year you know especially with the holiday parties coming but um really pretty color let's see Okay, that is a nice color. I don't, it, it is a ruby bonbon, and I don't really see this as a ruby. Um, I see this almost as a warm tone, light mauve, not a ruby color, which is interesting. It looks um, darker in the tube, hopefully it shows, uh, than it does actually on the lips. So it's a really nice color, very nice. I, I do like it, I do. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's just, um, I would say, well, I guess this one probably is more cool tone or neutral is out of all of them. So I, what I find with Bite Beauty is they tend to release a lot of lipsticks on the warmer side. I think companies in general just tend to put out more warm tone lipstick shades, which for a cool tone girl can be a little bit frustrating, but most of these do. I'd say three out of the four definitely lean more towards um, warm. Even this one, looking at it, yeah, it is more warm. I would say all of them are with a couple heading towards neutral. So if you're a cool tone girl, you may be going, you know, but I'm a cool tone girl. You make it work. You make it work. And um, 
I like it. They're very, they're very comfortable. Like I said, they do seem a little bit more moisturizing than past releases, and there's a lot of transfer because of that. So I know you can see where I was wiping off for, but there's a lot of transfer, almost more so than in the past. And they have like a pearl-esque kind of finish to them, so you can kind of see that there. Um, they're they're fine. They're fine. Are they groundbreaking? I'm gonna be honest with you. No, <laughs> you know they're not. Um, I'm curious if they're gonna be rela releasing other things. I do love these, but I kind of miss their past like glosses and things of the past that were just whoa. And I I feel like this is a very safe holiday release. I don't know. Um, they don't scream holiday to me. We'll just put it that way. Um, they just seem very neutral even though there's that red. I feel like they're very safe colors. Um, they don't really remind me of holiday treats or anything, but the company's saying that's what it is, and it's, it's their damn company, and they think it does. So, you know, maybe it's conjuring things from their past. But yeah, they're definitely very nice. Do I think that they're groundbreaking? Not necessarily, but who needs that? They're very wearable. And the thing is, sometimes with groundbreaking, it's like, how often do you wear them? So they kind of go to waste if you use them two or three times. These are extremely wearable, everyday wearable. I think most people would get a lot of mileage from these. And for 21 bucks, it's not bad. Very moisturizing. Very, they, they last on the lips decently. They are very slick, so they do transfer quite a bit, so you're going to have to apply them more than some of the other ones, at least in, in, in my view when I wore the one. But, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I'm a little bit confused for a holiday release, but there may be more to come, so stay tuned. But also what I do like is it is in recyclable packaging. You can recycle this, so please do. I, like, I don't like the wasted, you know, uh, plastic containers or metal containers though the metal ones you can recycle as well but yeah so that is the holiday for new mini treats treat yourself from bite beauty you can pick these up on their website or also sephora and they're just a nice little treat and definitely four different colors for normally their lipsticks are 26 so you're getting four little samplers for less than you would for you know, one of their main lipsticks, and maybe they'll release these if they do well in the future. So yeah, that is the swatches of Four by Beauty's new mini lipsticks for the holiday 2019. Let me know what you think, and until next time, have a fabulous day, my friends. Bye!